Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy. So let's continue with the series. Till this point what we have done is we were able to create a resource. So when a user is asking for aliens, we will return a JSON or a list of aliens and when a user is asking for a particular alien, you will return that particular alien. So we are trying to implement REST here. So if I, if I go back to the browser, if I say page, okay, so if I say aliens, it should return the list of aliens and we are getting that. And if I, if I ask for a particular alien, let's say 102, we should be getting that. Now I just have one concern here. The concern is I want this data in JSON format, right? Normally that's how we share data, either JSON or XML. The data which you are getting on a screen is not appropriate, right? How will another service understand what you're sending? Now in that case, we need to convert our response in JSON format. Spring should be doing that by itself, right? Why we have to do something. Now if you look at the code, we have made some mistakes, not exactly a mistake, but then it's not proper. Now the first change I want to make is instead of having curd repository, let's use JPA repository so that we'll get some extra features. Because JPA repository is a is an interface which extends paging and sorting repository, which indirectly extends curd repository. So we have all the features of code repository plus extra features. Now when I say extra feature, this is what I want, you know. Uh, when I say find all, it should return a list because in code repository it returns a table. So let's go back here uh, in the controller. And so we have made that change. Okay, let's, let's talk about this one. When I say find by ID, it will return you an alien, right? So what if you don't convert that into string? Let's, let's keep it alien. Now the only thing which it will ask you is to is to change the return type from string to optional alien and that's what we will be doing. So we'll be converting the return type from string to optional alien. Now when you say optional alien if you have not gone through Java 8 videos that's fine. It simply returns an alien object but in case if you don't have the data it will return in it will return optional data. Now here we will say again we will remove two string so we'll say find all but then here we'll say we'll not be keeping it as string we will be keeping it as alien list of aliens so once we have this code here let's relaunch the application and go back to the browser so we'll ask for aliens and yes we are getting list of aliens and look at the format now this is a json format right and what if i want uh, only only one alien let's say 103 you got the alien right you got the alien in json format so this is working so we are able to get the data in json format Okay, now what other things we need? What if I want to submit this data and how, how exactly we will be saying this in a particular format? Now if you have a Mozilla Firefox, it does look good in uh, when, you, when you have a JSON, it does look good there. Otherwise, if you want to submit some data, because of course you will be sending data from client to server as well, right? And the format would be JSON. How will I create JSON here? And in REST API, we have some other methods as well, like we have uh, delete and update. How will you perform those operations? And that's where we will be using a client for doing that. And one of the very famous client which we all use is Postman. So we will be using Postman to do further stuff. You know how to send data, how to fetch data and how exactly to use this that we'll see in the next video. So in the next video, we'll try to submit data, we'll try to fetch data and we will also try with XML. You know, we have not done XML yet. It's only JSON here. So how exactly that works, that we'll see in the upcoming videos. But before that, just to go for a quick recap, whenever you say find all, it simply fetches the list from the database and it returns you to the client. But hold on, there is one question. When you say it returns a list, who is responsible to convert that into JSON? Because we have not done that, right? We should have been done somewhere, you know, converting Java object into JSON. Now, thankfully, in the Maven dependencies, if you can expand, we have a jar file here, which is called as Jackson. Uh, can you look at that? Here it is. So if you can see, we have Jackson code. Now this is responsible to convert your Java object into JSON. Yeah. So we can also use other libraries if you want a JSON or whichever you like, but by default Spring Boot go for Jackson. So now uh, we'll do the further stuff in the upcoming videos. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. So that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching.